They must be inside. Are you sure you don't want to tell anybody? That isn't time to be patient. Esme is counting on me. Why isn't Elliot helping us? He could have given you it at any time. He is, not me. I told you, it's complicated. And he's not with them anymore. He only kept the key to make sure Gridley didn't get it. He did finally give the key to Daniel. It has to count for something. Maybe. I just wish we had a better plan. I'm sorry, Ivy, but I'm not waiting any longer. I have to go. Here's what we'll do. I'll go with Daniel. Ivy, you wait here. If we're not up with Esme and the Professor in ten minutes, then I'll burst down the door and cast a spell at everything that moves. Please be careful. We will. It's locked, but there's a note. It says, don't bother knocking, come in, or don't come at all. I guess that means he's expecting us with the key. I assume this means you've brought my prize. Where's Esme? Where's Professor Longbottom? All in good time, Dad. It appears you were correct about Longbottom not being the culprit. He genuinely doesn't know anything about the key, not me, or my business affairs. <gasps> you tortured him, didn't you? He'll be fine. Now, about that key. Show me my sister! Oh, Daniel. I thought we were past this. All right, then. Let's see what you've got. Stupefy! That's not possible! These gloves are protected by a permanent shield charm. Would you believe I bought them at a joke shop? Designed by former students, I believe. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Give me my key! Good. Very good. Now, I believe you still owe me a name. I know his name. But it seems to me it might be worth more than a few galleons. Bravo, Daniel! A criminal at last! Your mother would be so proud. Alas, this is not a negotiation. Now, tell me, who is not me? Evers. His name is Elliot Evers. He's a student at Hogwarts. Yes, I seem to recall hearing that name. A Quidditch champion, and the infamous not me as well. Quite a busy wizard. I gave you his name. Now take me to my sister. As you wish. Are you all right? Where are we? Some kind of dungeon? There's someone on the floor. Professor Longbottom! He's unconscious, but breathing. Who's there? Are you all right? I'm cold, so cold, and so very afraid. I didn't think you'd ever come. I'm so sorry, Esme. I should have come sooner. This is all my fault. It's going to be all right, I promise. Did you hear that? It's 
sounds like a cage opening. That's why your sister is so afraid, Daniel. It's the Dementor! I'm sorry, Daniel. I told you there would be consequences. Now tell me, how good are your Patronus charms? I hope you've had time to practice, because I recruited another associate. Daniel, we can't be two Dementors. What do we do? I have an idea. That's not going to accomplish anything. <sighs> not so old aiming at you. Accurate death! Death? What could be living my death? Wait! Stop! Now you'll have to deal with them too. You fool! They work for me! Take the children! All of them! Thank you. 
is over with. Nebulous. 
the mess you Don't even bother! Essence of Dittany! An impressive Patronus. I've been practicing too. I'm glad you're okay. You forgot about Longbottom's wand, didn't you? First rule of being a criminal, Daniel. Always know where all the weapons are. You missed one. <clears throat> Wow! Nice punch, Professor! Thank you. I take it this is the fellow who attacked you at the beginning of the year, yes? He was pretending to be not me. Really? There was a member of the group at school? No. It was all a scheme to get this. All this nonsense was over a silly little key. Crane will be very disappointed. There's more, sir. It's complicated. It always is. You helped him sneak into Hogwarts, didn't you? Yes, sir. I had to. He took my sister. I'd do anything for her. I'm sure you would. You can tell your story to the Ministry when they come calling. And they will. But in the meantime, we should tend to your sister. It's over, Esme. I'll get you some help. We'll take you to the Matron at Hogwarts. Poppy can probably tend to the bump on the back of my head. But if your sister experienced prolonged exposure to a Dementor, you better take her to St. Mungo's. They've got some wonderful healers there who will take care of her. How is she? They say it could be a while before we'll know if there's any permanent damage. This is my fault. Fine. We'll keep his secret. But what about you, Daniel? Will you be your old self when we start school next year? I'll always be your friend, 
but you can't ask me not to change, especially now that I know who I am. We make our own choices in life, Daniel. This is my choice, Ivy. The world is a hard place. I won't let it beat me. You may not always agree with the choices I make, but you're going to have to accept them. Just don't ask me to idly stand by if I think you're making a mistake. I wouldn't have it any other way. I want to say goodbye to Esme. Sure. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Elliot. What do you want? I think you know. Very clever to make a duplicate. I assume the Ministry has the fake. Yes. Eventually, someone will notice that it's not the real skeleton key. What's to stop Gridley from telling them everything? He knows your name. Yes, my name. I suppose that was your attempt at revenge for not helping you sooner? Esme might never be the same. If I had the key, I could have stopped Gridley from hurting her. Don't be naive. Gridley knew taking your sister was the only way to motivate you. As for the Ministry, he can tell them whatever he wants. No one will believe him. As long as I stick to my story. Yes, very good, Daniel. You're becoming every bit as confident and powerful as I knew you could be. Now, give me my key. I never wanted it anyway. I still believe in you, Daniel. I see us doing great things together. In my new order. If I join you, things are going to be different this time. We're going to be equals. You're going to listen to me. And no more lies. Anything else? Yes, one more thing. Everything all right? Fine. Well, we should get back to school. Definitely. I can't wait to see... Excuse me. I should watch where I'm going. Quite all right, dear. I should have... Oh, my! It's you! When did you wake up? And where did you get such clothes? I'm sorry... Have we met? Met? Missy, I've known you for almost three years. We've talked almost every day we have. Well, I've talked. You mostly just listen. I can't believe you woke up and no one told me. Woke from what? Who do you think I am? Well, I don't know now, do I? No one does. But, now that you're awake, you can introduce yourself proper. My name is Ivy, but I still don't know what you're talking about. Ma'am, you know Ivy because you think she's a patient here at St. Mongo's and has been for three years. Is that correct? Her bed's right over there next to... Oh, someone's sleeping in it. That's a rather quick turnaround. I need to have a word with admissions about that. Excuse me. Ivy, I think it's your sister. She looks just like you. All this time, she's been here. Asleep? How can that be? They must not have known who she was. But surely some... 
someone could have figured it out. Or, or, why didn't Nana check the hospital? Why didn't I? It's okay, Ivy. You found her. Yes, I found her. It's okay. It's all going to be... You're in trouble. He's watching you. Winifred? What? Who's watching me? Not you, Ivy. You 